This video is to show you how to do the task for Unit 8. And so what you need for the task is you're going to need this paper with the circle drawn on it. You are going to need three different colored pieces of paper. So if you're in class, I'm providing that for you. If you're not in class, then you'll need to get that yourself. But I am using really bright paper because it will show up better. You need some scissors. You need some glue. You need a compass. You need a ruler and probably an eraser. So that's what I've got for my materials. So in order to do this, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to figure out how big this circle is. So let's get the ruler and I'm going to try to figure out where the center of my circle is. So if I just kind of, um, I'm going to do my best to estimate where this is and then draw a line across like that. And then I need to get the vertical line. And so I gonna, I'm going to try to get right in the middle. And so this is one of the things your eraser's for. So I'm thinking that that maybe is a little bit too far to the right. So I'm going to try that again. Okay, so that, that looks pretty good. So you can do it lightly and then that way you can always erase it if you need to. Okay, so then now that we've got our center, what we're going to do is we're going to use the compass to measure the radius. So you're going to put the stylus of the compass right there in the center point and you're going to move your compass so that the pencil touches the circle. So I want to make it and if I did it well, I would pretty much be able to trace this whole circle with my compass. It looks like I might be a little bit off, but not too far. That's pretty good. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm gonna make sure my compass is tight and so it stays in place. I'm gonna get one of my colored pieces of paper and I am going to put my stylus in the middle, put my compass down and I'm just gonna give my paper a twirl. This is the easiest way to get a circle on your paper. It's easier than moving the compass to move the paper. And then I'm gonna do that with the other two pieces of paper as well. So I'm going to put my compass right there in the center, give my paper a little spin. And so what I've got is on each piece of paper, I've got a congruent circle, a circle that's got the same radius as the one that I have on my white paper. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video um, for a second while I do the next step, and you can do that too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out all of the circles. So you wanna keep it close to the edge and make it nice and smooth as you can. And so once you've got all three circles cut out, then you can come back and we'll continue with the video. Okay, I've now got my three circles cut out, and so I'm ready to continue. So the next thing you want to do is we're going to kind of lay this out and so you can decide do you like which arrangement do you like do you like you know like for mine like do I like the green in the back purple in the middle pink in front or do I maybe want to do it like that so you figure out what you like I think I like that with the purple in the back pink and the green but it's up to you just totally a visual thing okay so you're going to take whichever one you're going to have in the middle let's do that one first so I'm going to have my middle one first and what you're going to do is you're going to take that circle and you're going to fold it in half. So like a taco. Okay, so fold it in half. And then you're going to fold it in half again. Okay, so it's like that. And then you're going to fold it in half one more time. Okay, you want to do some nice hard folds and make sure that it's folded. So when you open this up, it is your circle, but it's divided into eight pieces. So like that, okay? And then what you're going to do, fold it back in half, okay? And put the fold on this side so the opening is down here. So, so it's going to open like that, so put it like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut on these lines right here, these two. So you're gonna cut out the middle pieces, 
but you want to leave it so it's attached. So I'm going to put my finger right there in the center and I'm going to cut right along these folds. This is kind of hard to do because I'm trying to hold it for the camera. Don't cut your finger. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to cut right to the fold. And I want to get as close to that fold as I can get without detaching it. Now, if you accidentally detach it, it's not the end of the world. We do have glue. So anyway, but what I've got now is I've got this. So it's kind of like a little bow tie and it still is connected. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, leaving it folded like that, I'm going to take my um, arc right there. And if you can visualize a line that goes straight down like this from corner to corner, I'm going to cut that. So I'm going to cut like that so that there's no curve left. So from corner to corner, so I'm basically cutting that arc off, okay? And so this is what I've got. Okay, that's not exactly how I wanted it to look. So I'm gonna do, I actually want it to be straight like that. So maybe I should have cut that differently. I'm gonna cut it from this corner to corner. There, that's how I want it to look. So kind of like a butterfly or a bow tie or something like that. Okay, now I'm gonna set that out of the way. I'm gonna get my um, back color, the one that I want at the very back. And we're gonna start this the same way. We're gonna fold it in half. And then we're going to kind of wrap it like an ice cream cone. So kind of wrapping it together like an ice cream cone. And what you want to do is you want to make that corner down there. And you want to just make it so it folds over on itself precisely. So it's like that. And so what you're doing, and so if you get the folds in there, you should have this folded into so it's in thirds now. That's not really as good as I wanted. So I'm going to manipulate that a little bit. works better if I can hold it right up close where I can see it but that's my excuse okay there we go so that that's folded so it's in thirds okay so what you're gonna do with that is we're gonna take this and you're gonna take the center piece and you're gonna cut out that so along that V same thing you don't want to detach if at all possible so try really hard to keep keep it so that it's attached maybe just hanging by a thread so I'm going to kind of just notch that right there and pull it out. Okay. And so I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other one where I'm going to cut a straight line from corner to corner. So actually, if I fold it like this, I can just make one cut. I'm going to fold it like this so everything lines up and I'm going to go from corner to corner. So I've got, so that's what I want. Okay, so I'm going to put that one aside. Okay, for my last one, this is the one that goes in front. Now, if you messed up with your colors, it doesn't really matter which one goes in front. So you're going to, again, fold it in half. Okay, you're going to do the same thing that you did last time, folding it in thirds. So I think I'm going to do better, maybe just eyeballing it this time. So I'm going to, I'm going to fold lightly until I'm pretty sure that that's good and then I'll give it a harder fold. So I think that that is pretty even. So I folded it into thirds, so just like the last one. And so I'm going to crease my folds. Okay, and then the difference with this one is now you're going to fold it in half again. So you're going to fold it one more time. It's a really small little sector. Crease those folds. So when you open this up, this is a circle that has been split into 12, 12 pieces. Okay, so like that. So I'm gonna fold it back in half like this, and I'm gonna cut out everything except these two. So where my fingers are, I'm gonna keep the, those. I'm gonna cut out all the middle. And so I'm just gonna go along the folds and cut right there. Now this one, the one that's in front, it's probably the most important that you try to keep that one attached. But it's still kind of tricky to do. 
So I'm gonna kind of give it a just a little square cut right there. So it's really small, it's like a little bow tie. And so just like we did with the other ones, I'm going to make those straight cuts. So I'm gonna cut like right there and right there. So I learned my lesson last time, I'm just gonna do this one at a time. Like that. And like that. Okay. So now what I've got is I've got all three of these. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my back color you can always decide to rearrange them if you like it better. So I'm gonna have that. And then I'm gonna put this one on top of it. So you wanna match up the center right there on the origin. And then you're gonna take this one and you're gonna lay it on top like that. So what you've got is you've got this. So if you think about the unit circle, what you are making here is you're making a color-coded um, unit circle. And so if you like the arrangement of the colors like that, you can get ready to glue it. If you decide like, oh, I think I wanna do it like that, you can. I personally kinda like it arranged like this. So that's just my personal favorite. So I am ready to glue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the one that's on the bottom, I'm gonna get my glue stick, and we're gonna glue. You don't wanna have a lot of sloppy glue all over, so I'm sure I don't have to tell you how to glue things. You are probably better at it than I am, but we don't want to get carried away. So get enough that it's going to stick. Okay, and then we're going to place it so that that center is on the origin. And we're trying to get it so that these corners are as close to touching the circle as we can get them. And so you might need to twist a little bit. So this tells me that maybe when I did my compass, since it was a little bit off down here, that's probably why it's a little bit off of that. So um, if I would have taken a little bit more time, it might have been better. I think I just wanted to get going on making this. I'm gonna use this uh, purple paper as just like a glue base so I don't get my other paper dirty. So I'm gonna get my middle one, my pink one. I'm gonna put glue on that, same thing. Oops. I'm going to again put that so that the center is right there and ideally your fold should match the x-axis there and ideally these would touch the circle but it looks like they're going to be a little bit short of that okay, and press it down and then last we're going to take that top one and I'm going to do the same thing with the glue In my defense, when I'm making this video, I am having some difficulty seeing up close. And so I actually have an eye doctor check today. But anyway, not that you care, but that's my excuse. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there and press that down. Okay, like that. So now what we've got is we've got this nice circle, nice colors. And what you are going to do now is you're gonna go through and label this. This is your unit circle. This is something that you're gonna keep, hopefully for a lot of years. And it will definitely be helpful to you, not just this year, but in years to come. So you're gonna start by saying this is zero degrees, and do it nice and neat, and two pi radians, and 90 degrees, pi halves, 180 degrees, pi, 270 degrees, 3 pi halves, and then you're going to go around and do like the 30 degrees, and the 45 degrees, and the 60 degrees, and name the radians as well. And if you wanted to color code this, you could. If I was um, doing this without recording it, so I had to worry about space on my iPad, I would take the time to color code it. But I'm going to say pi over 6, pi over 4 pi over three, and then I'm gonna do that in each quadrant. Then I'm going to go and list the sine and cosine for each one. So I'm going to do the coordinates. So this one is one, zero, 
This one is square root 3 over 2, 1 half. This one is square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2. This one is 1 half, square root 3 over 2. And then this one is 0, 1, and so on. And I'm going to continue that all the way around. And then as a little extra thing, what we're going to do is I'm going to write the tangent of each one. So like the tangent of 45 degrees is, um, I'll just do tangent theta equals 1. And then the tangent of theta on this one, it's going to be the, three, the square root 3. And then right here on 30 degrees, it's going to be square root 3 over 3, so tangent theta. Um, on 0 degrees, tangent 0 is going to equal 0 over 1, so that's 0. And then at 0, 1, tangent theta is going to be undefined. So you want to do this really nice and neat. And make sure you know that you're, you know, if you want to color code it, just the more readable you can make this, the more helpful it's going to be in years to come. And then you should have gotten from me, and if you're not in school while we're doing this, then you can get it from me later, but I'm going to give you a sheet protector. And so you need to put your name on this at the top. And then um, you're going to put it in the sheet protector, and the reason I'm giving you that is so that you can keep it. Um, and it will be more durable and I mean you could laminate it too, but you want to keep it I've had many students come and tell me that this has been so useful to them in coming up years So through calculus and everything so I've, I've heard a lot of really good feedback on this You are going to submit this as an assignment But before you take your picture take it out of the sheet protector So it's not all shiny and just make sure you get the whole circle with all of your writing on there So you're gonna get points for this Okay, as a homework assignment or a task or something. So um, you're going to submit that. And then once you've submitted it, put it back in your sheet protector. And then you can keep that. If you have a quiz or anything that you are allowed to use a unit circle on, then this is what you could use because it has all the great information on it. So that's how you do this task.